I actually wanted to go over the uh, results of your uh, exam. Um, so give me a call back when you get this. Uh, the results only showed... Ryan here for Silly Reviews. And what I got in the mail today, some free samples, pretty awesome, pretty interesting, and pretty helpful. These are VCF, Vaginal Contraceptive Film. This is birth control, safe, effective birth control. You both can't feel. I don't know why they don't emphasize the can't instead of both. Or they should emphasize both of those. Anyway, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's made with that 28% nominoxinine, whatever it's called. The company is Apothesis, Apothesis, Apothecus, and this is actually a product I am familiar with. In addition to the samples, I also got a freaking $5 off coupon. $5 off. That's pretty good. These aren't that expensive. But the expiration date on the coupon is coming around the corner, so I doubt I'll be able to need these by the time the coupon expires. So, what is vaginal contraceptive film? Vaginal contraceptive film is a paper thin film that has spermicide in it. A woman can place it in her vagina or near the cervix, which is the entrance to the uterus, where the film dissolves in seconds. The spermicide in it works for about an hour. You should wait at least 15 minutes before inserting the film, I mean after inserting the film before having sex. And you must use a, you, a new film each time you have intercourse. How effective is it as long as you use the film consistently and the right way? It's 74% to 94% effective. That means out of 100 women who rely on it alone, 6 to 26 will get pregnant in a typical year. Okay, so let's demonstrate. Let's go ahead and demonstrate. This is how the lady would insert this in herself before you get down to business okay it's gonna go right in there now guys if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing and this isn't naturally lubricated okay you're gonna want to help the insertion of the contraceptive film by adding some water-based lubricant to the area soon to be affected by your the male part, okay? You want to rub it on there, you want to get it in there because you want to be able to get this stuff pretty deep. It measure, it mentions getting it uh, near the cervix, which means you really want to get it in there, okay? You don't want to make a baby when you're not ready for one. So you tear open one of these packs when you're ready, you're gonna pull out this little film. Really cool, really convenient, but it will be difficult if you have no lubrication on and in that area okay so what she's going to do she's going to insert it or maybe you can help her help her out make it part of the pregame you know what I mean get it in there you can see it's it might be a little difficult maybe she can do a kegel and kind of grab it there it is it's inserted but wait now before you go just cramming yourself in there you uh you might need to lubricate yourself up so we're going to continue with this demonstration you know you don't want to go in there dry and you're probably similar to me is where she's not getting excited and natural things aren't happening so don't forget to bring that lube with you now wait a minute you don't want to hurt her but, but this isn't even accurate this isn't even an accurate depiction of what i'm doing so let's let's get something that makes a little more sense here we go so with your film deeply placed and you've waited 15 minutes, you can go to town. If you want to increase the effectiveness of this, add the pullout method to it. Now you're having some, some safe sex, at least safe in a sense that she's probably not going to get pregnant. So all things are here are well and good until you realize using a vaginal contraceptive film may prevent pregnancies, but it does nothing for STDs, you won't find any literature on these that'll tell you they'll prevent you from things like chlamydia, herpes, genital warts. Look at look at what I was just into. What is that? Well, now I might start seeing that on, on my junk. And my little guys now, he's going to have something wrong with him. And sure enough, I'm going to share with you guys um, results, information that I got 
after a recent doctor visit. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and, and let you hear a voicemail my doctor left for me. Actually, two voicemails. I just got the follow-up. So when you use a protection like a VCF film or spermicidal lube, again, it's going to help you avoid pregnancy, but it's not going to protect you against STDs and I'm just gonna go ahead for full disclosure here and let you know my my recent update from my doctor here we go take a listen voicemail one hi Ryan this is Dr. Epstein um, I was just returning your call um, I actually want to go over the uh, results of your uh, exam um, so give me a call back when you get this uh, the results only showed uh, negative except for one area. Um, the positive area was the, on the herpes exam. Um, it seems uh, herpes has mutated a bit and that's probably why your your erections aren't lasting more than one than four seconds, five seconds at a time. Um, uh, your penis may fall off in the next day or two. So go ahead and give me a call and uh, all right, take it easy. Wow. Did you hear how nonchalant he was at the end there? Just take it easy. You know, that's pretty hard news to hear after, uh, you know, you come up positive for the herpes. And, uh, of course, you know, you heard that I've, I've been having difficulty with maintaining an erection longer than four, maybe five seconds at most. And, uh, well, now I guess I found out that my dick is about to fall off and, if that wasn't bad enough, he called back with a little more news. Let's go ahead and listen to voicemail number two. All right, I'll let you guys listen to the, the follow-up call from Dr. Epstein. And my night's getting worse, so I just want to warn you guys. If you're going to use something like VCF, you, you better know what you're, you're putting yourself into and getting yourself into, literally and figuratively. Here we go. Hi, Ryan. This is Dr. Uh, Dr. Epstein again. Uh, doing a follow-up call on yesterday's uh, call, I uh, wanted to get a hold of you. Um, doing a look at the blood test, uh, and the butthole cancer is now spread, it looks like, to your dick hole. Um, so you you will have to come in. I'm pretty sure you have dick hole cancer now. Um, just go ahead and give me a call back, or uh, we can schedule an appointment. All right, sir. So at least he wasn't so nonchalant with the ending there, but the butthole cancer is now spread to the dick hole. So I guess the VCF was effective because, uh, you know, I didn't get my girlfriend pregnant. So, I, you know, that's a good thing because with the herpes and the butthole cancer and the, the pee hole cancer, at least I won't, you know, spread it to a, a, a future daughter, you know. Just be careful out there. Ryan for Silly Reviews. Please like, subscribe, and share while, while I still have time, when, while, while my penis is still attached. Okay, guys? Thanks. Bye-bye. Even though I got some bad news. Oh, that's not showing up well. VCF, man. I got to give it two thumbs up. Um, you know, hopefully you're not messing around with the trash that I am. You won't have to worry about getting that kind of bad news, you know? Oh. Ryan for feeling with you. I'm gonna walk.